because they now have my location. Nate knitted his brows. How? Fate found the tracking device. Yes, but she doesn't know about cell phones, and it doesn't track constantly, like that device did. They had to call me first. That activated the cell tower closest to me. That's what they can track. It's not an exact location, but it'll give them a general location. She slapped the steering wheel as a tear left a glistening trail down her cheek. Now they'll know we're heading north. He started to reply when she caught sight of something. Double-checking the mirror, she pulled over and stopped the car. He saw they'd parked in front of a small bridge. A sign a few feet away read Fraser Creek. Sidney walked up to the barrier that had been erected on the roadside and threw what had to be the phone into it. After a moment, she came back to the vehicle when she paused and buried her hands in her face. He saw her shoulders shake, and she leaned against the hood as her weariness and emotions got the best of her. He quickly got out of the car and went over to pull her into his arms. She clung to him as she sobbed, unable to stop. Nate kissed her hair and stroked her back, letting her vent. Turning slightly, he pressed his backside to the vehicle and enveloped her tighter. I hate what they're doing to you. What they're forcing you to, to, to do. Because you don't know any better. She croaked. I hate them. Damn them. Damn all of them. He tried to console her. We're grateful you had the courage to face up to them. We wouldn't be here now if it weren't for you. She shook her head. I've only made it worse. <laughs> don't you see? She said, lifting her wet face. She looked deep into his eyes. I thought it was helping, but now they know. I made a stupid mis mistake. And, and... She burst into fresh tears and buried her face against his chest, clutching his t-shirt in both fists. A car passed them, but didn't slow. Nate watched as the red taillights faded into the distance. He nuzzled the soft hairs along her temple. Why can't we take off in another direction? I go... <laughs> Where? She hiccuped. He chuckled. Hell, I, I don't know. You know this world better than I do. But think about it. They thought you were going to your apartment, and they can't figure out why the tracking devices aren't giving them any useful information. Let's say they assumed you backtracked and headed west, but then someone got the idea to call your phone and found out you were going north instead. These people are cunning, but so far you have managed to stay a step ahead of them. He felt her lean back and wipe her eyes and nose on the tail of her t-shirt. When she looked up at him again, he saw a spark of hope in her expression. Why don't we head east again? Is there a town east of here? Um, I think Yeagerton's about 20, maybe 30 miles away. It's a bigger city, but we've already passed the cutoff. Then we'll have to backtrack and take the cutoff. That's another thing they won't expect. If they catch another signal from your telephone, hopefully they'll think we kept going. They won't expect us to go back the way we came to go a different route. She took a deep breath that shuddered through her. Nate cupped the side of her face as he stared down at her. Without thinking, without hesitation, he bent his head to kiss her. Her reaction was instantaneous. Releasing his shirt, she slid her arms around his neck and kissed him back, pressing her body against his as the kiss deepened. He did his best to keep up with her. He worried his lack of experience would bother her. It was a needless worry. Releasing his mouth, she chuckled. Her breath was warm against his lips. Am I the first woman you've ever kissed? She lightly teased. You're the first one I've ever kissed that wasn't meant as a brief hello, goodbye, or thank you, he admitted. She gave him a surprised look. I've never heard it explained that way before. He pulled her closer. Then let me put it this way. You're the first woman I've ever kissed who's turned my world upside down, who's given me hope for a future, and who's made me feel as if I'm the most important person in her life. He peered deeper into her eyes. Tell me I'm wrong. Never in a million years, she promised and lifted her lips for more of his.